Welcome to part three of our maze tutorial. Part three, uh, what we're going to be doing is adding in the pickup items and basically setting them up um, so that the pickup items will be counted when our main guy uh, collects them. Um, just to review part two real quick, what we did was we set up the camera and we got our main character moving. Um, so if you guys haven't done that, you'll want to watch part two and get that done. Uh, okay, so let's get started. First thing we want to do is add our pickup item. Okay, so we are going to, let's go ahead and select our main character and do shift S and do cursor to selected. And let's go to add mesh. And for our pickup item, basically any of these will work except probably the circle. From years past, I remember the circle doesn't pick up very well. Um, so you can use any of these meshes. That'll work. I'm going to go ahead and select the cone and use the cone. And I'm going to hit S and scale it down just so it's smaller than the good guy or our main character here. And I'm going to hit period, and if you don't know already, if you press period on your number pad, that will zoom on your pickup item or whatever you have selected. Okay. So let's get out of logic, game logic here. Let's go to default. And with your pickup item selected, we're going to go to the physics tab, and we're going to change it to a rigid body, an actor, and make sure collision bounds is selected. And then we'll go back into the game logic here. And we are going to set up the properties on this guy. Okay? Alright, so I'm going to scroll out with my mouse, that middle mouse button. And we are going to add a sensor. And it's going to be a near sensor. Okay? And distance here, this is the trigger distance. So if you move this down, Basically, that's the distance from which, um, however close this guy is, it's a distance of 0.5 that we have set on our pickup item. So once he gets 0.5 from the pickup item, it will be set off. And if you guys don't remember, um, on our main character, which I have selected now, we set up a property named Fred, all lowercase. So on our pickup, we are going to change or type in Fred. And the reason we're doing this is so that the only item that can pick up the pickup item will be one with the property Fred. That way our bad guy, when we put him in, he won't be able to pick up items and the plane won't be able to pick up items. All right. All right, so once you have that done, let's go to Add Controller and select And. Let's connect these. And let's also add an actuator. And our actuator is going to be on, you're going to select Edit Object. Let's go ahead and connect the controller to the actuator. And under where it says Edit Object here, we want to select End Object. So what we're setting up here is a sensor that when something with the property Fred gets near our sensor it will end the object so the pickup item will go away and let's just go change this distance to one um, you can always go back and change it if you want it to be more sensitive obviously the higher the number the easier your pickup item will be to pick up Okay. So once you have that, go ahead and you can click Start here, or you can press P and try out your pickup item. and Make sure that it, it disappears. And then to get out of that, just hit Escape. Okay. Alright, so once you have that working, we are going to set up where we can count the pickup items. So you want to right-click again on your pickup item. And I'm going to minimize this because we are going to add another actuator. And it is going to be a message actuator. And for the subject, we're going to type in pickup. 
and it's going to be all lowercase, all one word. And right here where it says two, we're going to come back to this because we're going to add in an empty. And also you want to make sure that you connect your controller and your actuator. You can have um, a controller connected to more than one actuator and that's what we have in this instance. Okay, so what we need to do next is add in our empty. So we're going to go to add an empty. And basically what an empty is, um, if you hit period on your number pad, you can zoom in on it and see. But what we're using it for here, it's basically just an empty, like an invisible object that's in the game that allows us to do different things within the game, like send messages and stuff. Okay. So you want to make sure that your empty is selected. You can tell it's selected. Um, when you're in here, it'll say empty. We're going to go over to properties here. And if you don't have that, just go to view and properties. So you want to click add game property. And for the name, you're going to name it items. And I've got my number lock on here on my keyboard. So that was items, I-T-E-M-S. Make sure you spell it all lowercase. Okay. And you want to select integer integers are whole numbers and I'm gonna put this value at one and then this is the print debug information for this property so you're gonna left click on that and it'll turn a darker gray on the outside that's how you know it's selected so our empty has a pro uh, property called items and that's how we're gonna basically count our items here we're going to add in a sensor and it's going to be a message sensor. And under the subject, the subject is going to be pickup. And we are going to connect that to our controller. So let's add an AND controller. And let's also add an actuator. Our actuator is going to be property. And I'll go ahead and connect the controller to the actuator. Our mode for our property is going to be to add. Okay, so each pickup item that is selected, it'll add them. Under prop or property, you're going to select items. That's the property that we want it to add. And we want it to have a value of 1 here. Alright, so we should have that all set up. What I want you to do now, oh, actually, before we do that, we have to do one more thing. Okay? So up here where it says game, you have to check show debug properties. So you want that box checked. Show debug properties. Okay? Um, so go ahead and press P and you want to pick up your item. And when you do that, you should see in the top right it says empty dot items equals two. Okay? Let me fix something real quick. Um, over here, under our game properties, let's move that back to zero. All right. Now listen, if uh, things don't work out, if this isn't working, what you need to do is figure out what the problem is. Okay. So before getting my attention, what you need to do is check basically what you set up. So you want to right click your pickup item and you want to check basically here that your subject is pickup and actually let's go ahead I guess we don't need to do this but we can always put the message to the empty um, subject should be pickup make sure it's spelled correctly and then go back to your empty and if you can't find your empty you can always go over here and you can left click it to select it um, Remember on your empty you want, it should say items, integer, and zero. And then for the subject, it's pickup, okay, because it's getting that message. So when the pickup, when the, the uh, main character gets near the pickup item, the pickup item sends a message. That message, the subject is pickup. And what it does is it adds the items, okay. So let's go ahead and try it out again. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Shift-D, 
And what I want you to do is go ahead, this is your game. I would put at least five pickup items in there. And then go ahead and try to pick them up. And since we set that back to zero, it should start at zero. Um, and you should be able to go ahead and get all five, and it'll count all five. And um, so once you have that working, and your pickup items work, and are counted, and they go away when you touch them, you're good to go. That'll be the end of this part three.